Are we still there? Yes. Someone read for us. John Wesonga is employed by Fadili Limited as a finance manager during the year of income 2021. He provided the following details in relating to his income. Basic salary per month of surely 182,500. Monthly pay deducted by the employer was 47,200. He lives in a house provided by the employer and 5,000 per month is paid by the employer to the landlord. Employer house at a cost of 180,000. The employer deducted 5% of his basic salary during the year to cater for the house rent. He contributed 15,000 per month to a registered pension scheme, while the employer contributed 10,000 for him per month towards the scheme. He was reimbursed 250,000 shillings for medical expenses incurred during the year. The medical scheme only covers employees earning more than 100,000 shillings per month. He was given 45,000 as per diem for attending a five-day seminar at Mombasa. This amount was to cater for his accommodation and care. He has an education insurance policy for his children where he pays 15,000 shillings as premiums per month. He is entitled to an annual bonus of 5% of his annual basic salary this bonus was paid in December 2021. Benefits provided to him by the employer during the year were as follows. Commuter allowance, 180,000. Mills, 35,000. President telephone bills, 60,000. And entertainment allowance, 120,000. Required. Taxable income of John Wesonga for the year ended 31st. December 2021, and number two, taxable, tax payable, if any, on the income computed in C, number one above. Thank you very much, Winnie. The, the, the question is um, touching on uh, employment income, and therefore, um, as I can be able to remind you yesterday, we were able to say that uh, employment income is just a relationship that is existing between the employer and the employee. And therefore, we really know that the employer has to be compensating uh, for the, you know, he has to be remunerating the employee uh, for the good job in which, uh, or the, for the duties in which they have been delegated. Now, when you look on this question, on the way it has been already uh, set, we have to be imagining that uh, the examiner is already uh, looking on a question that already, uh, we have to be using the, the notes that we were able to cover yesterday. And therefore, um, we are going to be referring uh, most of the um, uh, requirements by the uh, Tax Act, which requires us to follow when we are doing employment income. Now, I just want to be calculating this question very quickly. Um, and therefore, I'll be able to take you to, uh, to our board. Let us check on our board here. A look on our board. So we are doing employment income question April 2022, question 3C, and therefore, the first thing that I'm supposed to be doing when I'm calculating the employment income is to write a title of the question, the title. And when I look on the question, the question and um, uh, the question is for John Wesonga. So you just tell me, we are doing for John, John who? John Wesonga. So when we are looking on the requirement, the examiner is telling you to do a question for John Wesonga for 2021, December. So in this case, our title will be looking like this. I just say 2021, right? Employment income. 
employment income computation employment income computation it is just looking like this so i'm going to be having a column here of kenya shillings we have a column here for kenya shillings and then you are going to be starting analyzing the question let me let me reduce this to this uh, area for space so let me just say kenya shillings here right so we have already been given a basic salary right a basic salary and uh, the basic salary given here i'm aware is a is a gross because we have been told the basic salary uh, per month of 182500 and then we were able to duck the monthly payment payee the, that is the pay as you earn so in this case we just say we have the basic salary here basic salary per month when songa was paid 182500 right this per month then we multiply for 12 months because we are doing employment income for the whole year so you multiply by 12. How much are we getting? How much are we getting? One eighty two five hundred. How much are we getting? We're getting something like this. Twenty one nine thousand. Yes. Now, the payee normally reduces my tax liability. Therefore, we are going to be looking on it when you are calculating the tax payable. So in that case, uh, we leave it on that point. We shall be able to come back on it. Number two, we have been told he lives in a house provided by the employer and that 5,000 shillings per month is paid by the employer on the landlord for the house, right? So the employer furnished the house at a cost of 180,000. Right, so the employer deducted uh five percent of his basic monthly salary during the year to cater for the rent for the house rent. Right, so the five percent was deducted uh for his monthly basic salary during the year. So, in this case, you just come here, you tell me when you look on our notes that we were analyzing yesterday on the aspect of the house benefits, we said we said that uh, um. The house benefit is when the employee is housed by the employer in a house, either owned by the employer or the employer has leased the house and pays rent directly on the account of the house occupied by the employee. So in this case, when we are looking on how we are supposed to be taxing it, we said that the house benefit uh, shall be, for instance, we said it will be 15% of the employment benefits we lay the nominal rent. And then we have the market rent of value of the premise we lay the nominal rent. So the question will be, uh, how are we going to be dealing with this? Is is because the value given by the the value given by the examiner here, we are treating as the market value, and in this case we just say this. In this case, this is how we are going to be doing. You just come here, you tell me we have the house benefit, the house benefits. So the house benefit we say we are going to be comparing between two things. You take fifteen percent. You multiply by the total employment income, on, in which in this case we don't have, we have to be calculating it first, and then we, we subtract the nominal rent. The nominal rent is how much? We have been told is 5%. 5 percent. 5 percent of the monthly basis salary, which is 182, 500, right? This is per month. And then we multiply by by 12. You multiply this by 12 because the 5% is per month. Then you multiply by 12 here. Then we shall be able to compare it. We shall be able to compare this with the market rent of value. In which the, the examiner or the, the employer, sorry, is the one who normally pays. The employer pays that 5,000 per month times 12. We subtract the, the nominal value. Which is five percent of one eighty two five hundred times ten, right? So at the end of the day, and then at the end of the day, we shall be able to compare between the two. We shall be able to compare between the two, and we take the higher value. 
we shall be able to compare the two and we take the higher value. That is how we normally do the employment, uh, the, the, the house benefits. The employment income is the we fix up a badai. And this is the last thing that we normally do uh, uh, so that we can sum everything to, talk, to get the total taxable income. Now, when we look on the other thing, under the note number two, we are being told the employer funding the house at a cost of 180,000. Imagine it's a house provided with the furnitures. So here we talk about furniture benefits. Furniture benefits. Furniture benefit is for our notes we said what? When we were, we were looking on our notes we said, on the side of the furniture benefit, this is what we said. We said that uh, for furniture, the taxable benefit shall be 1% of the cost of the furniture per month or 12% of the cost of the furniture per annum. So in this case, it will be, it will be, it will be, the furniture benefit, it will be 1%, which is per month, 1%, which is per month. We multiply by the cost of the furniture, which is 180,000, right? Then we multiply by 12 months. Shall we mutually yama during the year? 12 months. How much is this? How much is this? 1%, this per month. Remember, this person is staying in that house for 12 months. Then we multiply by the cost of the furniture. How much will the furniture benefits? How much will the furniture benefits? How much was the furniture benefits? How much was the furniture benefits? Are we getting 21,600? Someone? Yes. Good. As we continue, note number three, we are being told he contributed 15,000 per month to a registered pension scheme while the employer contributed 10,000 for him per month towards the scheme. There are two things that we are supposed to be doing there. When you look on our notes, we said contribution to these uh, registered pension schemes. How are they going to be treated? We said this. We said this. Let me look on the, the point that we were discussing about that. We said... Um, the employers, the employee contribution to a registered pension scheme and provident fund, the deductible amount shall be the lesser of. So it means the contribution that I'm going to be making will be offsetting my benefits. So I will be able to deduct them later. But here I will be able to tell you employer's contribution, employer's contribution, employer's contribution towards pension scheme pension scheme is not a taxable benefit it's not taxable sorry it's not taxable that is what i'm supposed to say so this is one mark employer's contribution towards the pension scheme is not taxable it's not taxable so we say you put that there. You put that there. So it means the employee's contribution towards this pension scheme will be subtracted. I will be able to show you how to do that. How to do that. Let us go to another point. In in an exam, easy point on the Kirukaruka, you normally put some star. star because you will be able to come and factor them later. Now, when I look on note number four, we are being told it was reimbursed to fifty thousand. For medical expenses incurred during the year. So reimbursement umerudishiwa pesayako. So the medical scheme only covers employees earning more than a hundred thousand, including our John Wesonga. So what did we say on our notes in regards to medical benefits? We said under the medical benefits, um, we say this. This is what we said. This is where, because I'm talking about the medical benefits, we said it is where the employer provides medical care to the employees where the medical schemes cover so the employees, the benefit is not taxable. But when you look on our case in this question, we are being told that the, the benefit, the medical benefit was discriminatory and therefore the benefit is taxable. The benefit is taxable. So when you look on those aspects, 
they are the ones that normally guide you. We have been told he was alirudishiwa pesa yake 250 and therefore the medical team within that organization was discriminatory. So hapo nasema tu medical benefits medical benefits which was discriminatory which was discriminatory it is taxable tumeambiwa ni pesa ngapi 250000 250000 250000 so it means the medical benefit was discriminatory now let us go to note number 5 note number 5 we been told verbal He was given 45000 as per diem for attending a 5 day seminar at Mombasa. Tulisema vizuri on our our, our notes. Per diem 3000 shillings. 3000 shillings is not taxable. Let me look on my notes and I will be able to read that for you. Uh, per diem, per diem it is not number 11. We have been told out of station allow, allowance or per diem of of 3000 per day is not taxable it, it is not taxable so in this case what i'm supposed to be doing on my question here what i'm supposed to be doing because this guy is this guy was given 45000 right here we are discussing about per diem per diems right so the guy was given 45000 right for five days so per day u jamaa alikuwa amepewa 9000 utoe me at 3000 which is not taxable right then we multiply by 5 days multiply by 5 days remember 3000 is not taxable right up to 3000 is not taxable right so the excess amount is the one which is normally is the taxable benefit 9000 minus 3 we are getting how much 9000 9000 is coming because the guy was given 45000 for 5 days once you divide 45 by 5 you get 9000 9000 minus 3000 you get 6000 right 6000 you multiply by 5 you get 30000 this is the taxable benefit 30000 30000 ah yeah. not number 6 we have been told he has an education insurance policy for his children where he pays 15000 as premiums per month education premiums yesterday This was we said about the uh, uh, education premiums we said they are taxable benefit when they are paid by the employer right that is why we are saying education policy the maturity period of more than 10 years is granted the rate of 15% of the premium paid subject to a maximum of 60000 per annum where the premiums are paid by the employer it is treated as a taxable benefit and the employee will be able to uh, to enjoy two things one he will be able to get a relief a relief reduces your tax liability right and also in this case you will be able to enjoy it because he is paying the insurance premium at the end of the year when we are calculating the tax payable we are going to be deducting the insurance premium right but remember in this case when you are paying uh, your own expense this is not a taxable benefit wakati unalipa vitu zako it is not a taxable benefit and therefore you cannot say here let me increase and let me increase the education policy nieke 15000 times 12 that is wrong because already you are the person who is paying what you are putting here is what you are benefiting from there we are benefiting from the employer we are benefiting from the employer so that one we are going to be claiming it later right when you are claiming the tax payable you can also note that again number 7 you have been told it is he is entitled to an annual bonus of 5% of his annual basic salary this bonus was paid at the end of the year the bonus is there it is a is an employment uh, income or is a, is a, is a taxable benefit so here you talk about bonus a bonus will be 5% of the annual 2190 how much is this 5% of 2190 5% of 2190 How much is this? Are you getting 109? Yes. 109500? Yeah. Mamba mko very cooperative because now we need to be moving very quickly. 
So the bonus will be to that. Um, when we look on the, the other benefit, this guy was able to enjoy, we have been told in not number eight, the benefits provided to him by the employer during the year were as follows. So we have the commute allowance. Commuter allowance. Commuter allowance are mepewa ningapi. Mepewa fare 180,000. Fare 180, that is the commuter allowance. And mepewa meals. Meals are mepewa 35,000. Meals are mepewa 35,000. We have telephone bills. Telephone bills. How did we say about the telephone bills? This is what you are able to say from your notes. As per the telephone bills, we say this. The telephone bill we said it is. Let me read for you. We say that uh, for telephone, the taxable benefit shall be 30% of the total bills. 30% of the total bills. So it will be 30%. We multiply by 30% of the total bills. Uh, what was the total bill for the telephone? 60,000. 60,000. This is equivalent to 18,000. 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 18, then the last thing, entertainment allowance. Entertainment allowance. Entertainment allowance, we may pay one gapi. 120. 120. So what is this total? Because the total here is the total employment income. What is the total? What is the total there? Do your summations. How much is this? 29, that is what I'm putting here. 2954, 21, 54, 900. I say you have to be taking the total employment income. 15% of what you have gotten is how much? This is, this is equivalent to 443. 115. What about this one? 0 0.05. 0 0.05. 190,000. I'm getting 109. 500. So this is how much? 443. 115. Minus answer. I'm good. I'm getting sorry. Three, 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 fifteen. What about the, the, the other one? So the employer was able to pay that five thousand times twelve, right? Minus zero point zero five. This one we have. So this is four twenty. That is four twenty. Minus one on nine five hundred one on nine. So for twenty thousand minus one on nine five hundred. We get three ten. We get here three ten from here. Three ten five hundred. So between the two, you take the higher value. Between the three thirty three six fifteen. And 310, give me the highest value, which is 333. Are we together, Joy? Yes. Good. Winnie, is it okay? Uh, yes. Good, thank you. Now, here we say, because already you have gotten the for the house allowance, the house benefit, no problem with this. So let us, let's hear. 
Tulisema tuna less nini? Tulisema tuna less allowable deductions, right? The first one will be empl employee's contribution. Employee's contribution was pension scheme. So we said the first thing that because we said we normally compare three things. One, the set limit. The set limit for the whole year as per your notes is equivalent to 240,000. Then we have actual contribution. Actual contribution in Gapi. Tuliambiwa, Wesonga was able to contribute how much? Let us go to uh, addition uh, number three. We have been told he contributed, he contributed 15,000 per month to a registered pension scheme. So he was able to contribute 15,000 times 12. And 12 is how much? Fifteen thousand times twelve. Napata ngapi? Are we getting one eighty thousand? Yes. Indio. Let us take the lower the 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 the, 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 the <laughs> value. We take the lower value. The lower value of ours is one hundred and eighty. One hundred and eighty. Nothing else to deduct here. Nothing else. There was no any other incomes. Nothing. So what I'm supposed to be getting here at the end of the day, it is a total taxable income. Total taxable income. Total taxable income. Total taxable income. So, nimi da chukua hii. Kuna hii figure mulinipea hapa, ya 2954, 100. Ilikuwa exclusive ya, ya rent. So, madale ya kushina nikijumulisha niki tena, mina kujina chukua 2954. Pana na hadi tu ya ya house benefit peke yake plus triple three six fifteen. I'm getting here thirty two thirty two eighty seven seven fifteen thirty two eighty seven seven fifteen. Then I subtract one eighty. So what I'm getting here the total taxable income is three hundred and ten. Or three million one or seven seven fifteen million one hundred and seven thousand seven hundred and fifteen. Are we able to get this one? Can you repeat? Three hundred and ten or three million one or seven seven fifteen. Okay, someone can do the the maths again. Yot, like in this other mimi me chukua. Unajua tukiwa tume exclude the house benefits, tulipata 59.5400. Sindiwa? Tukiwa tume add hizi ngine zote, exclude, exclude this figure, because atu kwa nayo, tulipata 29.5400. Plus hii, itapata total ya hii yote, ni 32.87.715. Hii figure, nikitua 180,000, I will be able to get the total taxable income, which is 3,107,000. 715. Yes. I time exam. the same. the same. So that is why na already. Excluding only this one figure, you take this plus this, then you subtract your employer's contribution or your deductible, the allowable deductions. Then you get the total taxable income. If you have already understood this, I just want to do, sorry, tax payable. Tax payable, which is the second requirement, which is the last requirement. There is only one thing that we, we as accountants, we are understanding about the tax payable. One, we really understand that uh, we normally use the tax band, the tax band for the employees. Kuna mtu wa 15,000, you are, it is a lip is the same pay, a man a pay. Kuna mtu alipo 25,000. Let me use the word 25,000, right? Who is having a certain, a smaller pay? Consider, co compared to person who is earning 100,000. So that is why we normally use the tax band. 
when you are calculating the tax payable. Now, the tax bonds, ukiangalia kwa ipefa yetu, at the beginning, let me, I will be able to share it again. But at the beginning, uko kabisa? Kiangalia hapa, let me share again. Kiangalia hapa. Kiangalia ipefa yako hii. Unawana hapa? Hapa, umepewa the annual tax pay. Because this is unafanya annual uh, employment income, we are working with the annual tax pay. Tax, uh, ta ta taxable pay, sorry. The, the rate of tax we are being given in each of the tax band, right? To go up a moja. Hello? Yes. Yeah. Lazima mu cooperate because you have to give you assignments. Now, do you have this paper on your side? Because I just want to, to use the figures and I share my board. Do you have the paper? By your side? Mm, yes. Good. If you have the paper, and I have to carry hapo kwa tax band, what do you mean you rudi ko bao? Let me rudi ko bao hapa. Let me rudi hapa sas. Now, in this case, now na pale kuna range umepewa between one to two hundred and eighty-eight thousand. So hapo na kujia na sema first. 288,000. You multiply by 10%, unapata ngapi. First, 288,000. You multiply by the rate. Because hapo rate umepewa. 288, for the first 288, this is annual. This is not for per month. This is the annual. Ile hako unalipua 10,000, right? Times 12, that is 120. The first, that is what we are talking about. So if I would then pay 20,000, that is equivalent to 40. I, 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 I range in this range, so, right? So this is equivalent to 28,800. But when you look on where Songa is, 3 million. So your tax band your Kwanza is more than what he is getting. When you look on the second or next, next the examiner has given you between 288,001 to 388,000, right? What you are supposed to be doing you take 288,000 or 388. Let me start with 388. You take the 388, which is the A under your next band, right? 388,000 minus the first one that we have already calculated. You are going to be getting 100,000. Enjoy 100,000 in Meroka Wapi. 388 minus 288. Very good. Very good. So this is equivalent to 15,000. That's why we're so many mingi sana kuliko this band. We go to the next band. The next band miambiwa excess. So when we talk about excess, I ata hapa kwangu na andike excess. So nasema, under the excess, I will be able to take ile taxable income yake, 3107715, right? Minus 388,000. Given by the examiner, remember the excess of 388, that is what you do. Then you multiply by 30%, which is the rate. How much is this? Let's say our songa minus the excess figure, which is 388 now. Then you multiply by 30%. How much is this? How much is this? How much is this? What I can see here, I'm getting 815,914.5. What is the total? What is the total for this? So 815 plus 15,000 plus 28,800. Are you getting 859? 714.5? Are you getting something like this? Yes. Then we list three things here. We list our pay. Pay liku me pay on gapi. Pay liku on gapi per month. Pay liku on gapi per month. I can see it was 47,200 times 12. 47,200 times 12. How much is this? 566. 
400. Am I getting the correct figure with you? Yes. Right, very good. Then we have personal relief. Personal relief in a kwanga yangapi, my accountants. Personal relief per month in a kwanga 2400. But because we are doing per year, when you care per 28, 800. Personal relief granted to each employed um, resident. Personal relief, 2400 per month per year is equivalent to 2800. Senior, to listen up here. We song at a part of insurance. Insurance. Relief. We song at a part of insurance relief. We say the reliefs are normally granted at the rate of 15%. 15% of the amount you was able to pay to the insurance, the education insurance policy. In note number six, we have been told he has an education insurance policy for his children where he pays. 15,000 as premiums per month. So it will be 15% times 15,000 times 12. Right? Because 15,000 is per month. So 0 0.15 times 15,000 times 12. I'm getting 27,000. Niambia taxpayer bully, I was song and ingapi. Taxpayer bully. Tax payable. How much? Mimi napata, wesonga anapozo kulipa KRA yetu 237,514.5. Kupo moja mpaka hapo. Anybody getting a different figure? Hello? So many other years figure Mwalimu ni correct. Is it correct? It is correct. Thank you. Yes. My figure is correct. My figure is correct. Now, um, if you don't have any question, I just want to do our next question. I just want us to do our next question. At the next question, right? Our next question will be the one. Which our candidates uh, did last uh, semester? Well, we are expecting the exams also. Let me let me show you. The exams will be fed in the systems by next week and the marking will be completed. We are expecting by 15th to have our results out by 15th. That is being said and done now. Let us see. Um, let us look on this question, which was done on August the other day, yeah, before our elections. August. And this question of employment income, by the way, is now question three. Can you see? Aaron and Oki. Someone to read for us. Anneli Musoki is employed as the finance manager at Panda Limited. He has provided the following details relating to his income for the year ending that first December 2021. His employment contract provided the following. Basic monthly salary, 182, 500. Transport allowance per month, 12,000. Leave pay, paid in December, 60,000. He was accommodated in a company-owned 
house where he was deducted shillings and 5,000 per month as nominal rent. If the house has been if the house had been lengthened at market value, the company could have turned, could have been changing monthly rentals of shillings for twelve thousand. The company furnished the house for him at shillings to six thousand. He was paying shillings one twenty thousand as a labor day one by the company for being the most and working committed employee during the year. The company has a registered pension scheme for its employee, where it contributes 15% of each employee's basic salary. Finally, Musoki contributed 10% of his, of his monthly basic salary towards the scheme. He was enrolled to a medical scheme with the Insurance Limited, where he spent shillings to that thousand on medical bills. During the year, the medical scheme catered for senior employees only. His wife was given Goonsworth shillings on 8,000 by the company during the Christmas season. The company provided him with a cook and a security guard from 1st October 2001, where it paid them monthly salaries of shillings and shillings 15,000 and 20,000 respectively. On 1st Jul July 2021, there is a secure and education insurance policy for his child at annual premium of shillings on 50,000 payable by the company. He was, he was out of work station in the month of September 2001 for eight days for which he was spent daily per DM allowance of shillings 5,000. Paying deducted by the company from his salary was shillings 46,500 per month. Required. Taxable income for Henry Mosoki for the year ended that 1st December 2001. Required to tax payable if any of the income competent in C above. Thank you very much, sir. When you look on the question, the question is or, or already uh, familiar. Some of the uh, the points given here by the examiner are so familiar. And therefore, uh, we are supposed to be rushing very quickly. Um, in this scenario, let me come here. I share my board. Uh -huh, good. Now, when I look on my board here, I will be able to see the question now. The question which was tested on August 2022. The question is August 2022. Question number three C. We are doing a question of uh, someone called Henry Musoki. I think that is the name. Henry Musoki. Henry Musoki. Then, when you look on the work requirement there down, we are doing a question for 2021 financial year. So, 2021, the year of income, uh, employment, employment income, computation, employment income, computation. Imagine that title. Normally, normally grants you a one mark. You in a compare one mark that title. Now we normally start with the basic salary, as we have said. So the basic salary for Henry Musoki. Akuna mani meskia Musoki ali resign na kaja kazi. That is one thing. So in this scenario, we are just being told the basic monthly salary was. It, it is equivalent, by the way. It is similar. It is one into two five hundred times. 12 times 12. What do you say? My exam in Gumu. That's that they figure Gumu cram. Unaka upper 219,000 from our previous question. 219,000. It is similar. When you look on the transports, the Jambiwa Henry Musoki and Yaja Kutembea Ama Kupewa transport. So the transport allowance, transport allowance given, Unambiwa Ningapi, 
Tumiambiwa is 12,000. 12,000 times 12, this is equivalent to 144,000. 144,000. Now, we have the leave. We have the leave pay. Musoki was paid 60,000, right? Which was paid in December. So here it is 60,000, right? Then, when you go to note number two, you are being told he was ac accommodated in a company owned house where he was deducted 25,000 per month as nominal rent. If the house has been rented at market value, the company could have been charging monthly rentals of 45,000. So the company furnished the house for him at 260,000. So straight away, we have house benefits. So the house benefit we said we normally compare two things. One, 15% of the employment income. Then we subtract what? We normally subtract the, nom uh, the rent contributed, which is the nominal rent. In this case, it is 25,000. Let me do it down here. So it will be 15% of the employment income minus 25,000 times 12. Then the other one will be the market value. The market value, we are being told the market value would be 45,000 per month times 12 minus 25,000 times 12. Tutarudi hapa badai, you know that. The answer that we are going to be getting, we are going to be taking the higher value. Let us continue. We know that the rent we shall be coming later, but we are being also told there is a furniture benefit. The furniture benefit. The furniture benefit we say it is 1%. 1% of, it should be 1% of the cost of the furniture, which is 260,000 times 12, times 12, times 12. So, in Ngapi, 1% is per month, 260,000 is the cost of the furniture, then 12 is, is the number of months. So 0 0.01 times 260 times 12 percent. How much are we getting? In a part of that one, that 1,200. I'm going to calculate time on Missouri. Now, number three, we have been told he was paid one trade as the Labor Day Award. Award here is a benefit. So, award a Lipwa, 120,000. 120,000. Then, number four, the company has a registered pension scheme for its employees where it contributes 15% of each employee's basic salary. Henry Moussa contributed 10% of his monthly basis salary towards the scheme. So, hapo na kujo waniambia, employer's contribution. Employer's contribution towards pension scheme. Nasema azi, not taxable. This is our one mark. Never leave it. That is our one mark. And remember tax, unawana umepewa 10 months, wana marking the correct entries. Zikifika kumi, umesha pita, umesha pata swali. That is how easy it is to pass uh, tax. Number five, he was enrolled to a medical scheme with Bahat Insurance Limited, where he spent 230000 on medical bills during the year. The medical scheme catered for all, catered for senior employees only. And in this case, we are being told that uh, the medical scheme medical scheme when it is discriminatory discriminatory we said it is taxable so we jamaa lilipa pesa ngapi 230 right 230000 this is what the company was able to pay on his behalf then we have been told his wife was given goods Worth one eighth up by the company during Christmas. Uh, company uh, was given goods worth one eighty thousand by the company during the Christmas season. So that's one I can treat them as gifts. 
gifts which are taxable benefits around 10 to 180,000. Then we are being told the company provided him with a cook. So they have a cook provided by the company. And then they have also a security guard. Security guards. So in this case, we are being told um, the company provided him with a cook uh, from uh, 1st October 2021. Where it is paid, uh, where it paid them monthly salaries of fifteen thousand and twenty thousand. Remember, you have to be looking on the time they they were able to hire that cook. Now it is October, November, December. They are three months. Eh? So the benefits um, which were able to uh, the, the the benefit accrued it will be fifteen thousand times three for cook. This is forty five thousand. That is forty five thousand. Then for the security guard. It was 20,000 times three, which is 60,000. Yes. Yes. Good, good. Thank you. Then, on note number eight, I've been told on 1st July 2021, he secured an education insurance policy for a child at an annual premium of 150,000. That's why you have insurance premium. insurance premium, which we have already been told they were payable by the company of 150,000. 150,000. Then, number nine, we have been told he was out of the workstation in the month of September 2021 for eight days for which he was paid a daily per diem. Per diem to the same as the Per diem. Per diem, we said 3,000, right? It is not taxable. So this guy was paid 5,000 minus 3,000. 5,000 minus 3,000, right? Then you multiply by the number of days. You multiply by eight days. You multiply by eight days. This is 2,000, 16,000. The taxable benefits. Then, um, Anything they pay, we shall be able to deduct them down there. What is the summation here? What is our employment income benefit here? Someone to give me the answer. No answer. No answer. Nani na pata yu answer yangu. Thirty two twenty six two hundred. Anyone? Yes. So once you multiply by fifteen percent, you'll be able to get four eighty three nine thirty minus. 25,000 times 20. You're getting 300,000. So minus 300,000. So this is 183. 930. 183, 930. The other one would be. The other one I was able to get 240,000. 240. So when I compare between the two, the highest value is 240. The highest value is 240. So when I want to get the total now here, the total will be someone, I'll take that 226, 200, because this is a shortcut I show you, plus 240,000. Up on that, on part of 34, 66, 200. Someone? Joe, is it okay? 
hundred. Very good. Then let us list our deductions. Here we list employees contribution. Employees contribution towards pension scheme. So I'm gonna look for the set limit. Set limit here to Ningapi. For the pension scheme, we say this 240,000. Actual contribution. Actual contribution to Miambi Wadze, not number, not number four. Henry Musoki contributing 10% of his monthly basic salary towards the scheme. So Jamali contributes 10% of 21,900 because it's an annual, right? It's just like taking this and I fix it here. And then I will be able to get 219,000. If I'm very fast, you just let me know. Once you less, you'll be able to get 219 in the list value, right? Nothing else. Total taxable income at Ningapi. Total taxable income at Ningapi. Are we getting this? That 247 200, someone? Yes. Very good. Very good. And let's see if you have the question. I can be able to come back and explain. So if you don't have the question, let us calculate the total tax uh, tax payable. Sorry. The same upper kwa tax payable na tumia nini tax bands. So to the first, the first was 288,000. You multiply by 10%. This is 228,800. To next, to kasema to 100,000 times 15%. The 100% in Akuja kutoka the next band, we take 388,000, which is the maximum value, minus 288, you get 100, you multiply by 15, you get 15,000. Then, we look for the balance. By the way, I don't know if the next question is how you are supposed to be doing it. So once you sum these two, 28,800 plus 15,000. 43? 800. 43,800. So, but I'm going to show you because you know what I'm talking about. Because you know what it is coming from. But nobody will be penalizing you for this. Nobody will be penalizing you for this. No one. No one. So, in this case, when you are calculating the tax payable, you save time. Don't cram, but you know the figure where it is coming from. Now, the same my first, right? My first will be 43, and then 43,800. Then I say, my balance now. My balance will be 32, 47, 200, minus 388,000. We multiply by 30%. Multiply by 30%. 32, 47, 32, 47, 200, minus 388,000, times 0 0.3. My father, 857. Someone? Have you gotten 857, 750. 760, sorry. Yes. 760. What is the total there? We are supposed to be getting 901. 560. Senior. Yes. Let us subtract because we said release reduces the tax liability. So let us less withholding reliefs. Right? So in this case, we, I will start with pay. Let me start with pay first. So our pay here, the examiner is saying 
This guy was able to be deducted for 6,500. Times 12 months. I'm getting 558,000. That one we are deducting. We have personal relief. Personal relief is how much? Personal relief is how much? That examiner na kuanga mekupea personal relief. 28,800 per year. Then we have insurance. Insurance relief. Remember here we have insurance premium. So we said it, the, 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 the employee will be able to enjoy a 15% insurance premium relief. So you say 15% of 150,000. 15% of 150,000. You get it 22,500? Yes. 22,500. What is the tax payable? Tax payable? In a part of the tax payable will be 292,260. 292,260. 2021 before I give you assignments which I I will be also be opening the my previous videos for the previous years uh, for you to be able to to use them to do some revisions for the certain questions uh, which I might be giving you some assignments um, open December 2021 question 3b the question for Alex McCalli Someone will be able to read for us. The Alex McCall is there on your screen. Alex McCall, someone to read. Alex. Alex Makali is an employee of Pengo Limited. During the year of income 2020, he provided the following information to you to assist in filing of individual income tax returns. Basic salary of 144,600 shillings per month, net of pay tax of 19,600. He was provided with a land cruiser whose accumulated depreciation as at 1st of January 2020 was 130,000 shillings, while the net book value was 1,600,000. He was provided with a fully furnished house 
the cost of the furniture was 250,000. They have had a fixed telephone. The average telephone bill paid by the employer per month was 6,000 shillings. On 1st of September, 2020, he moved into his own house, which he had acquired through a 15% mortgage loan of 4 million, 4 million on 1st of May, 2020. He is a member of a home ownership saving plan where he had contributed 4,800 shillings per month towards the scheme up to 30th of April, 2020. On 1st of July, 2020, he obtained a loan of 2.4 million from his employer at an interest of 7% per annum. During the period, the revenue authority prescribed interest rate was 12% per annum. He was out of his workstation in the month of August 10th, in the month of August for 10 days on official duty, the company paid him an out-of-pocket allowance of 4,800 per day. His salary was increased with effect of 1st of September 2020 by 8,000 shillings and updated to 1st of May 2020. The employer paid school fees for Alex Macaulay's children amounting to 148,000 shillings. This expense was not taxed on the employer. He is a manager of a registered retirement pension scheme where he's, he contributed 30,000 per month towards the scheme. The employer contributed a similar amount. His other incomes include dividends from Wali Cooperative, net of tax of 85,000 shillings, rent income of 280,000 thousand net of purchase of furniture, uh, which is 40,000 and cost of advertising vacant houses of 24,000. He secured a life insurance cover for his family of 8,000 per month with effect of 1st of October, 2020. Required the total taxable income of Alex McCulley for the year ended 31st December, 2020. Number two, tax liability, if any, from the income computed in B1 above. Now, it is okay. Um, what I can be able to look at it there, it is that uh, um, Alex McCarley, the thing that I can be able to see, the question is a bit advanced from all the two questions that we have already done. And uh, when I look at it, it is uh, not number 11, where there are other incomes uh, for the employee, the other incomes and how are they supposed to be treated, I will be able to uh, explain to them, uh, uh, to you, sorry, in regards to that. Um, when I look on the other aspect is that uh, um, he is a member, not number five, uh, we have been told that uh, Alex was being a member of Home Ownership Saving Plan, which will be offsetting or reducing his total taxable income, where he was able to contribute 4800 per month towards the scheme. That was up to 30. I think it is only three months uh, where he was able to do that. Now, um, in note number four, we have been told that uh, um, on 1st September 2020, he moved into his own house, which he had acquired through a 15% mortgage loan of four million on 1st May 2020. So in this case, what we are supposed to be looking at is that uh, there is, um, there is, uh, there is, um, he, he stayed on uh, the company's house, if he was provided with one, for only eight months. Here you have to be checking or being keenly on, uh, on the number of, uh, on the I'm sorry, you have to be so keen on um, on um, on the number of days or the number of months. Sorry, then we are discussing about not number not number six, where we have been told on 4 July 2020 he was able to obtain a loan of 2.4 million from his employer at the rate of seven percent per annum. During this period, the revenue authority prescribed interest rates was 12% per annum. And I think this is uh, some of the fringe benefits which we were discussing about. 
when you look at it, the, empl the employer was able to pay this kind of this kind of uh, benefits or this kind of interest. Now, uh, the other thing that we shall be able to factor is the increment of his salaries, where we have been told that uh, uh, he only worked for eight months with a uh, current salary that you can be able to look at at the beginning of the of the year. And uh, from there, he was able to, the company was able to award him more to increase salaries by 8,000 um, uh, backdated to 1st May. Backdated to 1st May. So it means, uh, if it is backdated to 1st May, it means the four months are the ones which are being paid by based on the current. Then later on, uh, he was being able paid, uh, eight months he was able to be paid at an increased salary. So we shall be able to, to accumulate that. Now, we have been told that uh, the employer paid school fees. That is not number nine. I am just reading the, the points that are different from what we have already been doing. So we have been told in note number nine, the employer paid school fees for Alex McCallie's children amounting to 140000 And this expense was not taxed on the employer. And we say, um, based on your notes, when you look at them, we say that um, when you look on this kind of a benefit, which is an education benefit, uh, the school fees, which is based based on uh, which is based uh, paid on behalf of the employees, uh, uh, paid on the employees, we are saying that uh, as long as it is treated as non allowable expense, in the computation is taxable profit of the employer. Mm -hmm. So when you look on your question, we are being told very well that uh, um, we are being told that uh, this expense was not taxed on the employer side. Therefore, it is not taxable. It's not a taxable benefit. It is not going to be treated because. The employer did not treat it as an as an allowable expense. That is the thing that I was also uh, uh, literating yesterday. I think the other points are familiar, so we can be able to start our question. Uh, our question, we can be able to start it. Okay, not number one. We have been given another challenge there. Uh, we have been told that the basic salary of one forty four six hundred per month netto pay. So in a manisha. The 144 one may slash the 19,000. We need the gross basic salary. So I will take 144, 600 plus we add back the pay first because they are not, we are supposed to be dealing with the gross, the basic salaries. Even the incomes that we can see down there in not number 11, when you are computing the employment income, we are going to be factoring the gross amounts, the gross amounts. So let us start the question. Let us start the question. The start is just similar. It is similar to what we have already done, right? So the question is, uh, the question was tested on uh, December 2021. It is question number, question Gani. Question three what? Three question three B. Question three B, right? So what is the name of the person? We have been told it is called Alex Makali. Alex Makali. The year that we are computing for Alex Makali in Mwakagani, we have been told it is 2020. Employment income. Employment income computation. Employment income computation. So let us start with the basic salary. Basic salary. Nimesem may be when you look on the basic salary given on note number one, we are being given 144,600. Right? This is net. See, see, we need a gross. So first we add our pay, which has already been deducted. Sindio, we need. He pays us as to make up, which is a gross amount. Alilipo miezingati this. Alilipo miezingati. The first salary, which is now, this is the gross amount. Alilipo miezingati. Before the change of the salary, before the increment of the salary. So, eight months. Yeah, alilipo miezingati. Eight. Sorry? Eight months. Bibi ni kisoma pale wa mesema, they backdated it to first May. So it means this was 
existing for only four months. Okay. Did you? He was paid this salary for four months. Then there was an increment, right? 144,600 plus 19,600 plus 8,000, which was an increment amount. He pays a melipua for eight months. Melon apa? He a lip of four months. Wakatu wali back date wali rudi. Wakamuongeze ile pesa for the previous month is because it's sharp data. Wakamuongeze the eight thousand. See you. So the increment salary will last for eight months during that year. So let us start with the first one. I can see this is six fifty six. 800. Senior. Join the last. Yes. The second one is how much? Thirteen, thirteen, six hundred. Sorry? We knew about the evil. Thirteen seventy seven six hundred. Thirteen seventy seven six hundred six hundred. Total salary ningat. Total salary. Two million thirty four thousand four hundred. Four million. Two two million. Two million. Two. Two million thirty-four thousand four hundred. Two million zero thirty-four. Zero thirty-four. Yeah. Four hundred. Is it like that? Yes. Now let us go to note number two. We have been told he was provided a land cruiser whose accumulated depreciation at the beginning of the year was one thirty. Why the net book value was 1.6 million. Let us look on the car benefits. When we look on the car benefit, we said you normally compare two things. One, the CC ratings. The CC ratings, right? We said we normally compare the CC rating. Then we compare also with the 2% with the cost the cost of the motor vehicle, 2% is per month. The cost of the motor vehicle, cost of motor vehicle in Gapi Joy. Cost of motor vehicle in Gapi. Joy. Yes. Cost of motor vehicle in Gapi. Sorry? 17, but... Very good. 17.30. Why? Because they have already deducted the depreciation from the cost. So it will be the net book value, which is 1.6 plus 130,000. Then we multiply by. Are we aware with that? No. So it will be 12 months. It will be 12 months. So 17,000 times 0 0.02 times 12. We are getting, I can see it is 415, 415, 200. Yes. What about the CC ratings? The CC ratings? The CC rating to kiangaliu koju kwa tebu kabisa pale ju. Tunaona mahali wa metopia CC prescribed benefit rates of motor vehicles provided by the employer. Mwana kitu kama yo. The front page. The front page. Mwana wana hapo? Kuna mahali wa meandika land cruiser. Land rover stroke cruisers. Yes. 
Yes. Annual ni ngapi? Eighty six thousand four hundred two hundred. Four hundred. Two hundred. Compare between the two yeah. and you take the other one. Four hundred. Eighty six four hundred. Four hundred. Mm. Yes. So the highest value is four fifteen two hundred. Senior. Yes. Very good. Let us move to the next point. We have been told very well. It was provided with a furnished, uh, furnished house, right? The cost of the furniture is two fifty, and we have been told the house had a fixed telephone. The average telephone bill paid by the employer uh, per month was six thousand. Was six thousand. It was provided with a furnished house. So in this case, let me start with the let me start with the furniture benefits. Furniture benefits. Furniture benefit we said the rate is one percent. See you. One percent times the cost of the furniture, which is two hundred and fifty. New query. Alika kwa nyumba for only how many months? How many months alika apa? Because on another note, na miwa pale. In not number, not number ngapi, not number ngapi, not number four. On first September twenty twenty, he moved into his own house. Alika apa mi zingapi? Eight. Eight months. Alika apu eight months. Alika apu yonyumba eight months. So how much is this? Is it twenty thousand? Is it like that? Yes. Yeah. Then from there, number four, on 1st September 2020, he moved into his own house, which he had acquired through a 15% mortgage loan of 4 million on 1st May, um, 1st May 2020. That one we shall be able to factor later. Note number five, he is a member of Home Ownership Saving Plan, where he has contributed 4800 per month toward the scheme. Yeah. We shall be able to look on oh, that later. Right. Sorry? The How about the telephone bill? Oh, thank you. Telephone bills. Telephone bills, we said is 30% of the cost. So 30% of 6,000. Senior? Mm -hmm. Times eight months. Now, who 30% of 6,000 times 8 months. How much is this? How much? I'm getting 14,400. 14,400. Now, I was in note number 7. He was out of his workstation in the month of August for 10 days on official duty. The company paid him an out-of-pocket allowance of 4,800 per day. Right? How much is this? Is it per diem? 4,800 minus 3,000 times 10 days. 10 days. What I'm getting here is, is it 18,000? 18,000? 8,000, right? Yeah. Now, note number eight, we have already factored it. Let us go to note number nine. We have been told the employer paid school fees for Alex McCallie's children amounted to 140000 This expense was not taxed by the employer. So uh, we are talking about uh, school fees. 
for children? I say not taxable. Not taxable because it was not treated as a as an allowable expense uh, in, by the employer in the competition of his tax profit. But Tungambiwa, he did not. Uh, it, it was treated as an allowable expense. Then Tungetoa hapa. Tunge, sorry, Tungeyandika hapa is a taxable benefit. Tungeyandika hapa is a taxable benefit. Now, in note number 10, he is a member of registered pension scheme where he contributed 1,000 per month, where the employer contributed the same amount. So, I have Nasema, employer's contribution, employer's contribution towards pension scheme Lisema not taxable. If it is not to know, they are, they give you a lot of marks. They give you a lot of marks. Now, when you look on the, um, the for the employee, you know where we normally subtract. So that does not have any problem. We are being told, is other incomes included? Uh, but uh, before we come to other income, there is not number 12. We are being told, um, he secured a life insurance cover for his family of 8,000 per month with effect. Insurance cover. Insurance cover upon a Niambia, not a taxable loss. Not a taxable benefit. Not a taxable benefit. Not a taxable benefit. Not a taxable benefit. Senior. Not a taxable benefit. Now, before I come to other incomes, how much is this? How much is this? How much is this? There is a question oh, there. A minute, please. It was provided the furnished, a fully furnished house. There must be a house benefit. Which will be 15% of the employment income. 15% of the total employment income. Sorry? There was a question, right? Mm, information 5 and 6. Uh, the 5 and 6, they are not affecting us because we have been told number 5 will be affecting us when we go to the deductions. Number 6, we have been told the loan, right? There is a free benefit that we discussed on our notes, which are not a taxable benefit, right? Let me write for you here. Fringe benefits. Range benefits, not a taxable benefit. Not a taxable benefit. Not a taxable benefit. Because we said in note number four, these arises where the employees grant a loan by the employer at the rate which is lower than the market rates. So the employees required to pay the free benefit tax or not before the ninth of the following month. So it is best, we already indicated it there. And it was part of uh, items which were not, we were, we categorized them not taxable um, under the tax act. So that does not affect our computation. Yes. Now, give me the, the house benefit. What is the total for this? This plus this plus this plus this plus this. How much is it? 2034, 400, plus 415, 200, plus 20,000, plus 14,400, plus 18,000. Are we getting 2502? Are we getting something like that? Yes. But now, remember this guy was able to stay here for only how many months? Eight months, right? A portion of these benefits, we multiply by eight over 12. Because this figure is for the whole year. So a portion by eight over 12. You get it 250, 200? Who 
mtu alikaa hapo only 8 months akaenda kwa nyumba yake so the house benefit ali ali, ali enjoy the eight the employment income is for the whole year so we have to apportion it for to to get for 8 months then you multiply by 15% kwa pamoja mpaka hapo yes very good very good so to get our total here i'll take 250 Two fifty two thousand plus two fifty two hundred. I'm getting twenty seven fifty two two hundred. Senor, let us go to other incomes. The other incomes. The other incomes. Now, the other incomes I will be able to expound on uh, certain areas uh, where we we were able to or I was able to share a certain uh, I was able to share a certain uh handout in regards to taxable incomes and uh, Uh, we have to be expounding that when we are going to be looking on the dividends and the dividends and the, we talk about the dividends and interests um we have a topic of uh, for that and uh, i think uh, we shall be able to to expound on uh, which uh, which taxes are normally uh, final which are exempt and which are uh, for example the, the correct word i should say which dividends or interest are exempt which one are qualifying the qualifying to me they are not subjected for further taxation um we have uh, we have um a non qualifying which are subjected for further taxation we shall be able to discuss that under our next topic for uh, uh taxation of uh, business income and uh, partnership as we move on Uh, but uh, right now you will be able to allow me because I have, you already have uh, a document or you still have uh, an handout in regards to this so i don't think that uh, this will be much of uh, it will be affecting us so much uh, because already you have something to share or something you have there which you are using for this purpose let me see if i can get something to explain or oh, in that regards check something here small Now let me say this eh the dividends because already we normally have certain dividends and the dividends we know very well that uh, these are the income that we normally generate from um investments maybe from the circles and other areas of our uh consideration so the dividends and uh, uh, the interest are the investments that we normally Uh, do for instance if i want to invest with uh, safaricom i'll be able to buy some shares once i buy some shares i'm going to be getting some dividends at the end of the year so that is one thing that we really understand that they are the source of incomes too uh, maybe to the organize sorry to the organization or to the individual and therefore the dividends which are normally qualifying um they are the ones which are not issued by body corporates uh for instance uh, uh the dividends uh, from uh, uh issued to the individuals are uh, subjected for further uh taxation at the rate of 15% now the dividends from for example uh, th th they are supposed to be from uh, other than circles so the dividends which are generated from the cooperatives at, at the societies are subjected for further taxation when i look on the dividends given by the examiner we will find that uh, they were coming from a certain cooperative uh, uh, company 
And that company which issued these dividends, they have already deducted the 15%. So in order to be able to include the dividends here, we normally include the gross amounts. Here we normally tag the gross amount, not the net amounts. So in this case, remember, the figure which you are, you are given by the examiner there, it is 85% because they have already deducted eight. They normally withhold 15%. Why do they normally withhold? They normally share the 15% with the KRA was sending to me to me, plan dividends, right? So when we are declaring, when we normally declare, uh, when we normally declare our income at the end of the year, these incomes or dividends, uh, this type of incomes we normally, they normally have certain columns where we normally declare them at the end of the year. That is what we are doing here. Now, when I look on the dividends, dividend, remember the dividends given, they are, which proportion do they have? 85%. Because already the cooperative society or the cooperative organization, while Kazi, I think it's Wali, they have already uh, with, withheld 15%. So the figure is 85% because they're net. So 85,000, the proportion is 85%. You ask yourself, what about 100%? What is about 100%? So in this case, you just say, in an exam, you don't want to do this. You just say 100 over 85 times 85,000. 85,000. This means that the, the dividends grows in equal 100,000. 100,000. Wakatoa, wakatoa. 15% wakabatisha 85%, sorry. The other one is rent. The other one is rent, right? Sasa, as we continue advancing and learning, there is something that we are going to be analyzing and understanding. For example, in taxation, we don't recognize the purchase of an asset, right? What we normally recognize, they are normally called investment deductions right so the capital allowances are recognized by the tax act is a topic of its own in a time of capital allowances we shall be able to learn it later but what we need to understand is that no any area we are going to be discussing about the purchase of an asset never in taxation no we recognize capital allowances of the assets which organization were able to, to, in, uh, to acquire or to purchase. Now, in this case, in the computation, for example, when you go to the, the taxation of the business incomes, you will be able to understand the terms which I'm using because the purchase of a certain asset in taxation is recognized as an untaxable, uh, as an allowable expense, sorry. It is not recognized as an allowable expense of the business. And therefore, the tax only recognizes the capital allowances. So in this case, because um, capital allowance is very interesting, I can be able to explain it much further. I just want to look on the rent here. The rent I was given, 280000 The rent was in repair, 280000 right? But what was in furniture. Furniture is not... And it's not, you add it back because it's, it is it, it is regarded that uh, uh, it is regarded not that it is not an allowable expense of the business, is a disallowable expense. So we had 40,000. But when you look on the, the other expense which they were able to, to incur, the cost of advertising vacant houses, that already qualifies to be an allowable expense for, for, the, red, uh, for the rentals. Those are the things to Tasoma to Kenda Belly. What I just want to understand is we don't recognize purchases. So 280 plus 40, the rent for us is 320. 320,000. We knew Melewa. Yes. Good. Now let us go to these ones we shall factor. Then let us list uh, the, the contribution which we said we can be able to less here. Yeah? Now, one, we said we are going to be subtracting employees' contribution. Employees' contribution towards the pension scheme. We said we normally look on the two things, set limits, the set limit, and the other will contribute linear. 
When I look at it here, we have been told very well that note number 10 he is a member of registered retirement pension scheme where he contributed 30,000 per month towards his, the scheme. So it will be the set limit of hours we know very well. It is 240,000. Actual contributions, we are doing 30,000 times 12. 30,000 times 12. That is equivalent to 360. 360,000. The two we take there, the lower one, which is 240,000. Right? There is also a home ownership saving plan. Home ownership saving plan. And we say in your notes here, let me read under the deduction, allowable deductions. Uh, uh, from your notes, we say this. We said, um, we said what? We said the, uh, note number two, under the allowable, the allowance board deductions, we said, registered home ownership saving plan contribution. This is where an employee makes a deposit against his employment income in respect of a fund in a proved institution. Such amount shall qualify as a deduction. The main objective is to encourage employees to make saving for, uh, for securing a residence at a future date. So the maximum allowable deduction is 8,000 per month or 96,000. When I look at it, right? When I look at it, the home ownership saving plan, it was for how many months? Let me go there. In note number five, we have been told he is a member of home ownership saving plan where he had contributed 4,800 per month toward the scheme up to 30th April 2020. How many months are these? How many months are these? Joy, how many months? Ali contribute from January to April. How many months? How many months? Four months. Four months, good. So, come on in four months. Nachukua, the set limit your home ownership saving plan per month is 8,000 times four. In it at 2,000. Right? Actual contribution, Alifanya 4,800 times four months. Actual contribution, Alifanya, the 4,800 I saw somewhere there. Uh, is it 4,800? Yes, it is 4,800. So 4,800 times 4 is how much? 20, Sorry? 19,200. 19,200. Senior, we also take the lower value, which is 19,200. Which is 19,200. Anything that we are supposed to be deducting, yes. There must be something uh, which it is remaining here. Uh, through our notes, we said, um, note number four, under the allowable deductions, we said there is an owner-occupier mortgage interest, and we are saying this interest paid by a person on amount borrowed from a specified financial institution, the amount must have been borrowed to finance purchase of premises for residential purpose, improvement or in uh, uh, in innovation of premises for residential purpose. Nikiangalia, there is a note for this. There is a note which already touches this for the borrowing. In note number four, sorry. Yes, note number four. To me, Amiwa, on 1st September 2020, he moved into his house, which he had acquired through a 15% mortgage loan of 4 million on 1st May 2020. On 1st May 2020. So there is a mortgage, right? So we said the maximum deductible interest shall be 150,000 per year. 150. So the maximum is 150. So here to Ningapi. Here to Ningapi. There is an interest here. Interest here to Ningapi.
इंटरेस्ट से तो अपन निगा भी On a occupier interest, which will be fifteen percent. See you. Fifteen percent. The cost here will be how much? Acquired through a fifteen percent mortgage loan of four million. Four million, right? Interest to the part of the amount of money. I can do the math. Meishi, I make up for this year. For eight months, I think Apu many elewa. The fifteen percent of four million will be for the whole year, but I need to go first May. So the interest in a person who is missing that this year, this year in a person who is missing that fifteen percent of four million, then you are pushing. How much is this? Unapata ngapi someone? Winnie. 400,000. 400,000. Is it taxable? Is it taxable 400,000? Is four hundred thousand taxable? No. Set limit again in that thing. Set limit. Their own owner occupier mortgage interest is one fifty thousand per year. Multiply by eight over twelve. One fifty thousand times eight over twelve, because we have to apportion one fifty is a set limit for home owner or uh, home occupier mortgage interests. So one fifty times eight over twelve. How much? Join. One hundred percent. Thousand. One hundred thousand. Thank you. One hundred thousand. So let me share. Take the lower. The lower is one hundred thousand. So give me the total taxable income. Total taxable income. What am I going to be taking? To the figure somewhere, somewhere. The figure we have is here. Twenty-seven fifty-two two hundred. Twenty-seven fifty-two two hundred plus one thousand, hundred thousand. Sorry, plus or oh, yes, plus three hundred and twenty thousand. Mm -hmm. Then we subtract all this. So we subtract two hundred and forty thousand, which is here. Mm -hmm. We subtract nineteen two hundred. We also subtract hundred thousand, and I'm getting twenty eight thirteen. Twenty eight thirteen thousand. Someone who is getting that twenty eight thirteen thousand. Twenty eight thirteen thousand. Because our. Yes. Yes. Good. Chenye kimebakia hapa is the computation of the tax payable. Tax payable. So tax payable. So let us calculate our tax liability. If you are following, like Joy. Niambia tulisema first. First tunachukua nini? First tunachukua tunachukua nini? 43800. 43 800. Very good. 
Then we go to the balance. The balance we take 28,000 minus 2013. Tuna minus nini? Winnie? Winnie. Balance yetu liko na chukua 2013. Excess of how much? Uh, 388,000. Very good. 388,000. Then you multiply by 30%. Multiply by 30%. 28,000 minus 388,000 times 0 0.3. We are getting 727,500. Uh -huh. Plus 43,800 of mine. This is 771. Senior. Then you less. You can have it to make less. You can start with pay. Pay ya kuli kwa 19,000. Pay liko ya ngapi? 19,600. Times Z12 Senior. Yeah. We are getting two thirty five. We get two thirty five two hundred. That is one. Personal relief. Personal relief ninga pini. The personal relief is 288, 288, sorry. 28,800. We have insurance relief. Jointly, 15% of insurance relief. A minute, please. I can see my screen is hanging. Can you be able to see it? Thank you. Insurance relief we will be able to take 15% of insurance premium which were paid. Zilikuwa ngapi? Hello? Winnie, can you see the last point? Hello? Yes. We have been told he secured a life insurance cover for his family, 4,000. 8,000 times from October to December is how many months? Eight thousand was from October is the time he was able to uh, to secure the insurance uh, cover. So 8,000 times three, it is 24,000. Senior, it is all, only for three months. Yes. So 24,000 times 0 0.15, getting that 600. 
Entendeu? Entendeu? Yes. The tax payable, when you look on the dividends, Entendeu? there is a withholding tax. The withholding tax in a kutoka dividends. Why? Because the dividends already were shall withhold 15%. 15% of 100,000. Well, you already were shall with withheld 15,000. If 15,000 were withheld, it reduces your tax. Because already you come up as in a submit to a PRA in advance, but not for you, but not you. It was already submitted by the person who issues the dividends. So that is where we are saying you are not going to be paying uh, another amount from that income. No, that that amount which was submitted will be able to offset the tax that you have to pay, the tax that you have to pay. Then we have rental. Rentals, kama rentals zako liko metrit kama commercial. We are going to be, I'm going to be teaching you what is the difference between the commercial and residential houses. So, but the rentals of ours, without talking much, I just say the rate for the for the withholding will always be 10 for the rentals, 10% times 320,000. Times 320,000. 10% 320, of 320,000 3, will be able to get 32,000. That's 2,000. Pay away your mood to total tax payable. And I'll leave up tax and that. Total tax payable. The rentals and the dividends and the interest, they are our big thing. The next thing that we are going to be doing, I have to be teaching you about that. So don't worry about that. So 771 minus 235, 200. Minus 28,800, minus 3,600, minus 15,000, minus 32,000. Are we getting 456? Joey, is that the answer? Yeah. Good, good. That is how we normally do employment income. I know this question has already drained you, but these are the kind of the questions that we need to do to be 100% prepared. Because if they bring any question which is lesser than these, then it means I will be able to get all of it. Now, I will only be able to give you three questions. I don't know when you are going to be giving me the answers or the solutions. I just want you to do the September sitting 2021, which in um, in my link is they 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 are they, it is normally written August. Then we have May, May 2021. We also want to do it. 